SMT Nation. Welcome back to the channel. We're glad to have you for this one. Uh, for those of you that have been tracking all of my upgrade videos, what I really, really try to do, my mission, all right, what I'm trying to get accomplished here is to help you see what the upgraded gear looks like for each of your favorite carriers, all right, those that you root for, those that you support. If you're out there, you're just an enthusiast and you want to see the carriers upgrading on all levels. I try to take pictures. I, I do descriptions. I try to explain in detail all of the things that go on with these upgrades. I really do hope that you guys are enjoying them. And if you are, please do like this video and comment down below if there's anything in particular you'd like me to add uh, in order to enhance these videos and make them better. All right, now in my series of showing these upgrades, I've been doing a lot with AT&T and 5G Plus with their C-band upgrades. They've been doing an incredible job in the Cleveland area of those upgrades, as well as a couple of other places too. I've done videos on those upgrades. Uh, one of the things that I was doing very heavily in the beginning of this year, uh, in like January, February, March, before AT&T got going, it was Verizon that was doing the feverishly fast, rapid pace of upgrades. And they've maintained that pace for the majority of the year. And it is now July at the time of this recording. And Verizon is doing an incredible job to do their upgrades as well. I don't want to downplay it. AT&T has hit the track running uh, pretty much since April. It's been an absolute slugfest between these two carriers. I found this upgrade. This one is in North Olmsted, Ohio. It's strategically placed on top of an office building. It's an interesting placement. Uh, rooftops are pretty typical. That's not what I was um, kind of mentioning as being the unique case, but there's a macro site that is not very far from here. I'd say at best, maybe a mile on both sides. <laughs> so east of here and west of here, there are two neighboring cells for this macro site. It goes to show you the population density and the market share that Verizon has that they would not only use millimeter wave, but now also C-band as well as small cells in this area with macros every mile. An absolute testament to their tower density, fearless in trying to accommodate their consumer base. All right, so on this uh, site, you will see that there are two sectors that are visible here. I'm going to show you guys kind of what I mean. So there's a sector here and there's a sector here. This one is facing the apartment complex and the mall. This one is facing the Target and the shopping center across the street plus the Walmart. And then behind this unit, there's another sector, and that's facing the hotels as well as other apartment complexes and traffic. So I'm going to show you guys strategically where they have placed this macro site on this rooftop. All right, there's the Great Northern Mall, which one of the sectors faces. There is the Walmart, which I was explaining, the Target across the street. There's a Chick-fil-A. There's, there's all these restaurants. There are uh, bars. There are businesses. Uh, some of the other locations like the hotels, La Quinta is there, uh, Radisson. I'll show you guys some pictures. This site is probably also going to be serving a lot of the traffic that goes on the other side of Lorraine Road. You guys have seen the millimeter wave site I did for the Duncan. Uh, if I haven't dropped that video yet, I will be doing it very soon. Home Depot is served. There's a huge shopping center on the other side of the mall. It's an incredible congestive risk factor in this place between Lorraine Road and uh, over by Brook Park Road, which this location is. Uh, so actually, I'll show you guys from the satellite view. You could see all the parking lots, all this grayish area. That's all concrete. And then these, there's a site that serves this area here, and then there's a site that serves this area here and another one here. But there are probably, from this point, which would be like Clegg Road, there's a macro there. And then there's also one over here by Fitch. This is just density. And then there's there's at least one small cell in there, uh, maybe two. So it goes to show you what Verizon has to do to keep up. Here's a picture of the Walmart. Uh, this was on a Sunday evening, uh, early evening, so it wasn't very busy. All right, there's the, the Walmart. The apartment complexes are actually behind me from where I was filming and recording. All right, so there's the apartment complex, and you'll notice that there's a very tall building. So you've got multiple stories. There's a lot of people that live here. Uh, there's actually a T-Mobile macro site on this rooftop. They've got N41. You guys will see it pictured. Uh, and then there's their low band and mid band uh, LTE and, and 5G and stuff over there. So they're there. Uh, uh, T-Mobile did this upgrade a couple of years ago. 
it's a it's a good site actually. It's very fast, and they need it. Uh, they do have quite a bit of of a user base in the North Olmsted area. All right, here is the uh, rooftop for Verizon. It's much shorter than say the apartment complex, but they don't need it to be tall because they don't really need it to stretch too much. Um, N seventy seven is a full power band. Uh, it, it reaches multiple miles if you need it to. Uh, the problem is, is as you push it really, really far, things can get a little noisy. The sinar starts to dip. The quality of signal can dip as well. So it's not on. I wasn't able to test it, but I wanted to show you guys the pictures and the location of where it's upgrading and what you guys can be looking forward to if you're in this area and you want to test it. Here's all their lower band frequencies, uh, band 13, band 5, as well as the band 2 and the band 66. They got all that in there in those shrouds. And then they've got millimeter wave up here. It's Nokia. Now, these these antenna elements and these radios, everything's been Nokia up to this point. Well, now they're going Samsung. So the C-band is actually Samsung. I'll show you guys a close-up picture of what I was able to see. Uh, you will see that here is your old stuff. I call that old stuff. It's just the stuff that's been there in the spectrum they've been using for years. Here's a millimeter wave node. Okay, so that's that's that cell. And then here's the C-band. All right, so you guys will see it's much bigger, much larger than the millimeter wave, and it's much more powerful. Uh, this, it's not going to get much power. What are, what are these things running, like a watt or something like that? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's not very strong, which is why it needs line of sight. It's why it doesn't really penetrate indoors. You can't. It's a high frequency. It's 39 gigahertz. I've tested this site. gets like 2,000 megabits per second plus. Uh, over 100 megabits per second uplink. Uh, this is what I'll be coming back to test. All right. This is um, the new N77 C band. Verizon is doing 60 megahertz of it for now. That will be widening later on this year or towards the, you know, moving towards next year. And it'll be exciting to test all that capacity. Here's the other sector. This is the sector that's facing Walmart and Target. All right. Same setup. Get your millimeter wave and then you got your C band N77. Here are some of the locations that it's going to be pointing to. All right, so here is the uh, mall across the street. You've got uh, the restaurant here. I think that's a, I don't know, is that a Red Robin or something? I don't know. I don't eat there. <laughs> there's the Radisson. Uh, there's the apartment complex I was describing. Okay, so you guys can check that out. Uh, let me see. Do I have any other pictures of stuff? Uh, yeah, there's a picture of the mall. There's a cinema there. Uh, there's another cell over here. Uh, actually, I think I want to go back. Can I do that? Okay. Yeah, there's another rooftop cell over here. Um, and that one, I think all carriers are on it. That's the one I was describing as being on the other side of Great Northern Boulevard. And uh, you got Dillard's. On the other side is all the other mall stores and stuff like that. Here's the Radisson. There's a handful of hotels on this street here at Great Northern Boulevard. There's Chili's. You got Macaroni Tony's right there. All right, guys. So that's the upgrade. Uh, I just wanted to share it with you and show you what Verizon is doing. A lot of my focus has been on AT&T and their C-band build, but got to call a spade a spade. Verizon not backing down. They are really addressing their capacity needs. They've always done a really nice job of this in Cleveland, and they continue to do that. So big shout out to AT&T. Uh, but now in this case, let's give a shout out to Verizon for their upgrades. T-Mobile's kind of done their piece in this area, so we'll see what comes to new place. I'm still tracking those upgrades, but things have been very slow for T-Mobile. It's really been kind of the Verizon and AT&T show for 2022. And I expect that to be the case through 2023 as well. We'll track uh, T-Mobile as well, but these guys are shining right now. Uh, if anybody lives in the area or frequents this area, let me know if you've seen these upgrades. Again, I'm going to come back and do some testing here to see how it's performing. Because this site has millimeter wave, I'm expecting big fiber here. All right, we're probably talking about a 10 gig circuit. All right, why else would you put millimeter wave up there? And who knows, maybe the site gets an additional CBRS addition at a later time. Maybe they come up and they change that Nokia millimeter wave for Samsung gear. And when they do that, I'll, I'll be updating that as well. Uh, comment down below your thoughts and impressions on this upgrade, where it serves. And uh, if you're from the area, tell me about your experiences in this area. It's a pretty fast area now because of that millimeter wave, but things are about to get better for the mid-band, and it should work indoors. I can't wait to test it inside the Target across the street and in the Walmart, which I've done for N41 before, 
some of my content here on the on the YouTube channel. Anyways, comment down below. You are the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more, and turn on that bell notifications icon so you never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter handle as well as my Patreon page. You can support us and get early access to content and exclusive videos and live streams not found anywhere else. And all business inquiries can go to the Gmail address in the description. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.